There they are. Which must mean they took out every one of the exorcists who went after them. Hey, I told them not to bother. Now how did that sword of yours turn out? <laughs> Fine. I'll find out for myself. Rokuro, we can handle the exorcists. Go and find your victory. Thanks. All right. Let's get down to business. You better not die too quickly on me. I want this to be fun. Come on, bro. Don't hold back. Shut up. Don't play. Here it comes. Not bad at all, but I'm not done yet! You put up a good fight, I'll give you that. But you're a frickin' demon. Shouldn't you bring more to the table than pretty damn good Rangetsu style? You don't have what it takes to win against the rightful heir. Don't so count me out. Just yet. I've got something to show you! Take this! What? Now that was clever! Giving up one of your own hands to go for my neck! If I was just a second slower, I'd be dead now. I like it. This is what I've been looking for. Alright, let's call it good here. Listen up! If you all want any hope of beating me, come find me once you're more skilled and better armed. <sighs> I'll cut you down. No matter how many times I lose. No matter how many years it takes. Mm. There we go. That's the face I'm looking for. So vicious. It's perfect. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Shouldn't you be worrying more about your own skin? The entire Abbey knows by now that you're a traitor. Uh, that guy, he was really strong. Yeah, he was. They all are. But we will beat him if we must. No matter what it takes. <sighs> the Von Elty is here. Let's get going. Please, take me with you. I'll make a sword that surpasses Storm Hal yet. I know I will. But for another blade to beat Storm Hal, its wielder must be a swordsman of unmatched skill. Hey, Eisen. Got any room on this pile of wood scrap for a suit of armor? If not, make someone wear it. <laughs> Works for me. You heard him, Kurogane. Many thanks. Okay, we're off to find Grimoire and decipher the book. You know where we're going, right, kiddo? Yeah. We're headed for the Isalt Archipelago in Southgand.
Velvet's demon hand. It's such a mysterious weapon. I can only imagine how much of a threat it will become to the Abbey. This calls for a clear-headed breakdown of everything I know about it so far. It changes shape in a flash, and can devour most anything. How must that feel, to devour something with your hand like that? But it doesn't devour the bandages that cover it up. Maybe they're protected with some sort of special art? Likewise, the rest of her outfit can't be ignored. One would think she wouldn't want to wear such ragged clothing, yet she clearly has no inclination of buying something new. I suppose that could be taken to mean she has some sort of attachment to it. But that top is really big for her. Like it was made for a man! Maybe she wears that outfit in memory of someone important to her. I'd better not touch it then. I know I may not look it, but I really am good at sewing. Maybe I should suggest mending her clothes rather than outright replacing them. On the other hand, that fabric looks like it would be hard to push a needle through. I could be in over my head. But the tougher the fight, the more I get fired up! Of course, Lord Artorius would probably scold me if he heard me talking like that. Who'd scold you for what now? Oh, uh, well, I was thinking about sewing! I mean, your clothes, they're all beat up, and I thought that if I offered to mend them for you, you'd probably scold me, wouldn't you? You'd mend my clothes? Have they been worrying you that much? I mean, not like constantly or anything. It just crosses my mind from time to time. Are you good at it? Yes. I'm told I come across as awkward sometimes, but if nothing else, I'm good with my hands. I see. All right, if I ever need it done, I'll come to you. Good, just leave it to me. Are you feeling all right? You're really sweating. The heat and the cold doesn't bother me at all, but you're a human, so you need to take care of yourself. And if you keep soaking in your own sweat, you'll catch a cold. You should keep washing and bathing on your own schedule, like however you did before falling in with us. Just let me know and I'll make it work because the guys aren't considerate enough to stop and ask you if you need to. Sure. All right. Thanks. That was a surprisingly normal thing for her to say. I probably shouldn't bother with her clothes for now. We girls have to be considerate of each other. Eisen! I thought you were supposed to be in Midgand! How did you end up here in Eilgand? I thought I'd gotten used to you performing the impossible, but this time, I'm at a loss for words. We heard from the Bloodwings that the Abbey might have taken you guys out. Not this time, but our luck won't last forever. Aye, aye, first mate. More importantly, are you sure it's okay to bring an exorcist aboard? I've got my eye on her. Got it. We'll be on our guard, too. I gotta say, you guys look less like pirates and more like a circus troupe. Are you alright with having demons on board, Benwick? Not remotely an issue. If you're aboard this ship of misfits, you're a pirate. That's just our creed. At least, that's what the captain and the first mate always say. Speaking of the captain, what's Eifried like? Hmm, let's see. How do I put it? He's like if the sea were a person, and that person had a pointy beard. Huh. Uh, a bearded sea? Look, everybody on this ship is an outcast from society in some way. Despite that, Captain Eifried accepted us for who we are, and took us all on board. So he's... a kind man. Well... Would you say that the sea is kind? 
How would it feel to dive in with an open wound? It would sting. A lot. Quite so. Some days he's calm and steady, and others he rages. He can be shallow, deep, even a whirlpool. Sounds like he's a little scary and hard to read. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to serve him. But that air of mystery keeps us around and makes us want to take those jumps. At the end of the day, the dread pirate Van Eyfried is one hell of a guy. He sounds like Velvet in a lot of ways. Wait, what? How so? Uh, I didn't describe him right at all, did I? Hmm. Benwick, we're changing course at once for Port Renied. Sir? What's going on? Three of our men have collapsed from the Corsair Scourge. They first showed symptoms three days ago. How are you holding up? I'm still doing all right. But if this really started three days ago, that means we're all carrying it, doesn't it? That's what I'm afraid of. But if we head straight to Port Renied, we should be able to get medicine there. I'll check on everyone's condition. Make sure everyone stays hydrated, including yourself, understand? Sir, yes sir. All hands, assume emergency positions. The crew's holding up well for a bunch of folks at death's door. What do you mean? Is this Corsair scourge fatal? Quite. No one knows what causes it, but it starts with a high fever and ends up with the body falling apart like sand. Like sand? Once, there was a great band of pirates who ruled the seas, but the disease spread through their ships and killed every one of them. That's why it's called the Corsair Scourge. Does that mean we've been infected as well? You humans, for sure. Only humans fall prey to the Corsair Scourge. Then it could have gotten to you too. Right, Moggy Lou? Oh, right. <gasps> Alas, that my glorious saga shouldn't meet such an ignominious end. I can't allow our vessel to die from this. If you start to feel ill, speak up. I will. All right. We'll all be helping out in the search. Everyone but Eleanor, that is. Huh? Oh, why does she get to stay? I might be dying too, you know. You're a witch. Magic yourself healthy. Now quit whining and get going. Oh, not even a witch is safe from the ravages of the Reaper's Curse! The Reaper's Curse? Okay, where's the herbalist? If I remember right, the Corsair's Scourge needs a particularly special medicine. Yeah. It's a wildflower called Salatoma. Well, doesn't sound too tricky. Let's not relax until we have it in hand. Right. Now let's get going. Hold on a minute. Won't you just be spreading the disease if everyone wanders into town? Surprisingly, no. For whatever reason, you can only catch it over the ocean waves. It's speculated it might have something to do with the salt in the air. Or maybe the microbes in the seawater. Nobody knows the cause for sure. But there are no recorded cases of people catching it on land. I see. A strange affliction indeed. We'll be back soon. You all remain on the ship. All right. Good luck out there, sir. We've got to hurry. Solitoma. Is this really going to be necessary? What do you mean, Eleanor? Oh, nothing. It's just... Well, the herb is known to work well for fevers and the like, but it tastes bad. So bad. Some say it would even bring a demon to the brink of tears. Maybe so. But better to drink it than to die, right? Oh, I'm not worried. It... it just reminded me of stories from my childhood is all. The map's getting filled in little by little. There's still a long way to go. It's a big world out there. Yeah, that's true. And a lot can happen on the waves. The far seas are unexplored territory for a reason. I'd imagine so. The seasons and the weather can change the sea completely. Oh. 
Do I sense a budding interest in the sea? Think you're feeling less apathetic about it now? I wouldn't say that. I was just reminded of something someone once said to me. That Rokuro, always telling all of us except Eleanor to work harder! Doesn't he realize that I'm a delicate maiden too? This is workplace discrimination! I should put him on a witch trial and burn him at the stake! I don't think that's how witch trials work. <laughs> What's wrong, Eleanor? You look like you've got something on your mind. I'm just trying to figure out what Rokuro was thinking. When I had Lord Shigure at the end of my spear, Rokuro threw his dagger right at my head. I thought I was dead for sure. I feel like I saw who he truly was, and it frightens me. But he and Lord Shigure are always trying to kill each other. I can't understand why he did what he did. It might have something to do with his Bushido code. What's Bushido? Is that like a sword fighter's code? It's a way of thinking. Be loyal to your lord, respect your parents, protect the weak, and act with honor. You're saying that he was following this Bushido code, and he was protecting me because I was weak? He might have turned into a demon, but his memories and personality are still intact. Do you really think he believes in that Bushido stuff? Carving through his enemies with a cruel and unsparing sword! Slash! Pow! Shazam! That's the true nature of a Rangetsu man! I heard that when Velvet first met him, he immediately attacked her without any provocation. I'm sure you haven't already forgotten how he turned his swords on the kid in that fight against Kurogane. I wouldn't read too much into what Magilu's saying, but I don't think he's all that bad. I thought you were the one who called him frightening. I know I said he can be a scary person, but... How do I put it? I do feel there's more to him than just wanting to cut people up. It's like... He's more sensitive to other people's emotions than he might seem to be at first glance. For a crazed demon, he's actually a nice guy. Is that it? Maybe. I don't know. You brought it up. A bit ago, a manacled body got caught in my nets. Manacled? A prisoner? You too? Yesterday, my nets pulled up an arm. Manacles, even a brand on that one. I really can't take this anymore. I'm losing my appetite, and it's bad for my heart. You said it. Judging by the tides, they would have to have come from that prison island. Is it really just a prison? You think it's strange, too? I've suspected something about that place for a while now. They say the whole island is a prison, but if you ask me, I bet it's just an execution ground. Or it's for experimenting on demons. Experimenting? What do you mean? Testing the demons' capabilities. Not a bad theory. <laughs> just kidding! There's no way the Abbey would do something that horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sure think of some crazy ideas. Yeah, something like that. That guy. He's pretty sharp. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any patrol ships around there recently. You know you're right. If there are pirates about, it'll mean trouble unless the Abbey tightens up their patrols. The best we can do is keep a wide berth of it for now. I think we'd notice if pirates or demons were around. No way they'd catch us unawares. I can't tell if he's sharp or dull as a brick. <laughs> Interesting bridge. This bridge has a bit of history to it. Port Renid was originally built here on this inlet. The water's deep enough for ships, but as you can see, it's a bit too narrow for a port. Large ships couldn't come close without a top rate crew, so Port Renid was used almost exclusively by smaller ships. What about the Von Eltia? We're the best of the best. We came and went as we pleased. So your point is you wanted to brag? Hey, let me finish. The people wanted their town to grow. So they built an outer harbor, 
for large ships, and this bridge to connect to it. Uh-huh. So that's why the port and the town are separate. But there's more. We secretly help provide the funds and resources for them to build it. So you are bragging. And did this bridge bring prosperity to Port Renied? No. The Abbey began regulating shipping and travel, right about the time the town finished building the outer port. If only the seas had remained free, Port Renied would have developed into a center for commerce and trade. I suppose things don't always go as planned. Then again, even if Port Renied became a bustling port, we still would have no trouble slipping in or out. I'm not biting this time. When I was in Port Zexen, I heard that a swarm of demons attacked the palace and killed the High Priest. No way! Isn't the palace the most heavily guarded place in the world? How did the exorcist let that happen? Hmm, bad news really does travel fast. They say that the demons were disguised as humans, but were actually enormous monsters twice the size of any man. They had razor-sharp horns and three burning eyes. They could take over your mind just by glaring at you were that terrible. No wonder the exorcist couldn't deal with them. Some rumors say they escaped. Some say a legate took them down in a climactic battle. But no one knows the truth. We should be ready to run in case they show up. Is the world falling apart? A horned giant with three eyes, huh? Velvet, you're one scary lady. They said swarm. So they were talking about you, too. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's just not possible. But the High Priest hasn't been seen since then. How do you explain that? I heard some people from the capital say that he might have been attacked by demons. The Abbey's trying to cover it up, but the truth is getting out. The security at the palace is better than anywhere else. Demons breaking in? Inconceivable. But what if a whole horde assailed the castle? The exorcists guarding the palace are elite. The best of the best. Horde or not, they couldn't have gotten in. But what if they were some sort of giant demons? No matter how elite the guards may be, they'd have trouble against something like that. If giant demons appeared in the capital, there'd be an uproar. I understand your concerns, but please remain calm and trust us. Panic and confusion is just what the demons want. Well, we know that, but still. It looks like rumors from the capital are spreading. The more chaos there is here, the easier it'll be for us to move around. Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's curse, eh? Uh... I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, we might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. Everyone attack! I'm ready 
for this. I'm not a fan of long, scary things. Um, have you looked in a mirror lately? You really go crazy with all that paper. You think I'm the one that's going crazy? Hey, Laffy Set. What's the Reaper's Curse Mogilu was talking about? Supposedly... Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. At Vortigern, there was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's curse is all too real! It was the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Mogilu! Oh, is... is that so? I missed you so much! The hazy, halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up! Hey, that's not... It must be destiny that we've been reunited! Do what you want. I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. I've already got Loppy set to look after as it is. Aw, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. <sighs> what? Just so we're clear. Lafayette will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not. Uh, I mean, not that it ever happened in the first place anyway. Uh, just forget it. <sighs> Yet another victim of the Reaper's curse! <sighs> Are you feeling all right? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Isen's curse even real? You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Mogilu, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace? Or that Aizen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught demon blight? Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation? Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me! But as far as the Corsair's Scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this.
finished here. Thank you.